Machiavelli gang, we back up in this thing, man. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe right now so you don't miss no lit content from me. This is a try not to cry. I've never done one of these, man. But if anybody who knows me, it's not easy to make me cry. Easy to make me mad, maybe, maybe, kind of depending on what it is. But cry, nah. I would say it's more easier to make me laugh more than anything, which I think is a good thing. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But, um, yeah, this is a try not to cry while watching this video. This is new, actually. But without further ado, let's get it, man. Try not to cry while watching this video. But first, you must know the rules. Leaving, skipping, or speeding up the video equals automatic fail. Also, video credits go to Dharma. So are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Hey there, that's gonna be fourteen ninety-two. Ah, uh, yeah. Mom, I need twenty bucks. Just make sure you tip him well. There you go. Thank you. And here you go. How much change would you like for that? What is this? Pepperoni and pineapple. Isn't that what you ordered? Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Do I look like a sociopath? I asked for pepperoni. Uh, I'm really sorry. Um, would you mind just taking off the pineapple, or I could also go back to the store? I'm not going to do your job for you. Go get me a new one. Absolutely. I'm just going to need to. You guys like pineapple? <laughs> yeah, I'll have some. I love pineapple. Gross. I'm sorry, but can I get that pizza back? My boss is going to make me pay for it if I don't. Take another slice before I give it back. Hurry up. I'm starving. For sure. I'll be back as soon as possible. Again, I am really, really sorry about it. Did you feed him a nice tip? No. I didn't even pay him. The moron put pineapple on my pizza. I told him to get me a new one. Okay, Derek, we don't call people that. What? He's a delivery driver. I mean, how hard is it to get a simple order right? You know, most jobs are harder than they look. I'm glad I paused it right there, right when she said what she said. Because, dude, I don't care what anybody does for a living, bro. If anything, things like that just make me mad. It doesn't make me cry. It just pisses me off. Or it just pees me off. You know? Like, dude, people go out their way to do their job to satisfy a customer. And you call them out their name? Mm-mm. I couldn't do customer service, to be honest with you guys. I used to do it, and I think that, that was, like, the main reasons why I left. Because I just couldn't put up with the disrespect, bro. I just couldn't. You know, me personally, I'm the type of person where I demand my respect because I often give people respect. Whether if I know them personally or this is the first interaction I've ever had with you in my life or whatever the case may be, but I always treat people with respect, bro. You know? I don't care if it's a delivery driver or if it's the package handler or if it's the, the Uber driver or the Lyft driver. I don't care who it is. Whoever I'm in contact with or talking to, I treat everybody with respect because I would want the same type of energy towards me coming from somebody else, you know? Yeah, bro. Uh, you would know if you ever had one. Oh, whatever. Besides, it probably wasn't even his fault. I don't care. All I know is he better get it right this time. <sighs> Man, I can't believe your mom's gonna give you a Beamer for your birthday. Yep, we already ordered it. I got the metallic blue just like that pick. Finally. <clears throat> about time. Yeah, I'm so sorry about that. I was running a little bit late because I had a bottle on the way over here. Spare me the details. At least you got it right this time. Great. Um, that'll be fourteen ninety. This pizza's frozen cold. I'm not paying for this. Look, I'm really sorry. All right. I got a flat on the way over here, and I threw my bike. You know what? That's just my fault. I don't mind paying for it, but you could keep it and just maybe throw it in the oven or something. I'm not cooking my own pizza. I don't care if it's free. Hurry up and get me a hot one before I call your manager and complain. Of course, yeah. I'll be back as soon as possible. I can't believe that guy. What a mess. I actually thought this video was going to be like multiple different, you know, 
try not to cry. It's like, you know what I mean? Like multiple different clips, not the same character for every skit or every piece of skit involving the pizza, you know? I just thought it'd be like different types of... That's something I've never seen before. He's about to face off against Rhino. Oh. Sons and Six? No way. Not unless Devin Booker actually learns how to play defense. Finally. Hi, so... I... Double-checked and I made sure it's pepperoni. Also, I, I, I took an Uber on the way over here to make sure that, uh... Nice and warm. Let me see. Yeah. You jit me. What do you mean? Each slice usually has three pepperonis on it. This one only has two. Oh, uh, I'm sure that just varies from pizza to pizza, and they would never intentionally do that. You sure you didn't eat my pepperoni? Mm, no, I, I would never. Mm-hmm. I'll take it, I guess. There's 20. Thanks. How much change would you like? I'll take five back. But the total comes out to be fourteen ninety two. I know what the total is. You should feel lucky to get in any tip at all with how bad your service is. You're right. I'm really sorry about it. It wasn't the first time. Uh, yeah, but he deserved it. Derek, that is not how we treat people. Especially after he worked so hard to get your pizza right. Well, if he would have just done it right the first time, he wouldn't have to keep coming back. <sighs> you see, that's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You think everything is so easy because you've never had to work hard for anything. Dude. I hate people like that. I really hate people like that. Hey, for the people out there who don't know what it's like to work because you never had to work for anything, you think everything should just be given, you think everything is just easy, look, stay in your lane. I can't stand people like that, bro. Like, you have the audacity to sit up here and disrespect people or look down on people that work hard and you never even had a job a day in your life. Or even if you did, you didn't do anything while you were on that job, which is why you didn't last long there. I can't stand people like that, bro. Like, walk in my shoes. That's what I say, walk in my shoes. And you tell me if this is easy or not, you know? Don't be sitting up here on your ass, on your couch, not doing nothing, watching life go by, and then have the audacity to get mad at me just because I can't get your order right. Or your order wasn't perfect like how you like it, just because you're too picky. Um, my friends are here. Can we just talk about this later? No, I think they should hear this. Well, you're sitting here watching TV all summer and complaining about how many slices of pepperoni are on each pizza slice. Who does it? out there working hard. It's real easy for you to ask me for money. See what I'm saying? It's harder when you have to earn it yourself. Maybe you should get a job delivering pizzas so you can see how it is. Oh, yeah. 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 Like that would ever happen. Silver spoon in their mouth. Um, that's, a, that's all I'm going to say. Silver spoon in their mouth. If you guys know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Silver spoon. I am serious. You don't know how hard someone's job is until you do it yourself. Walk in their shoes, like I said. Anyway, back to the game? No. It's either that, or I take away your PS5... I take away your allowance, and you won't be getting a car for your birthday. You can't do that. We already ordered it. Well, I will just call the dealership and tell Dude, them I changed my mind. I even forgot about that part. Look, BMW, right? I've had my fair share of foreign cars. Not to brag, but I'm just saying, right? They're expensive to maintain. So... If something goes wrong with your BMW or if something needs to be fixed 
and you don't have a job, you think mommy is just supposed to pay for it? See, those are the type of reasons why I don't talk to many people. Not to say a lot of people are like him, but in a way, it is it is kind of good amount of people out there that are like that. You know, feel like that everything should just be given. You know, that they don't have to work for anything. And people like that piss me off, and people like that I can't align myself with. You know, I come from a background where, you know, you do any and everything to take care of your family, your kids, and to make sure everybody is straight, you know. That doesn't mean go out here and do stupid things or get into illegal, you know, transactions, things like that. But it just means you get up, you're on your grind, you're consistent with your grind, you stack your money, and then, you know, good things happen. But, you know, you also have the people that, you know, like I say, give me this, give me that. Or you're going to buy me a new car. If something goes wrong with it, mommy's going to pay for it. I'm cut from a different fabric, so I don't get down like that, man. If something go wrong with my car, it's on me to fix it, not my folks. So, y'all let me know if I'm speaking facts down in the comment section. I already know I am. Y'all know I am. Yeah, you're getting a beamer. That's like insane. Just do whatever she says. Fine. I'll get a job for a month, but that's it. <laughs> we'll see if you even last a week. I mean, she got a point, but still, like, a month? Come on, bro. First job. A few days later, he starts working at a local restaurant. His first assignment is to deliver pizzas. Things seem to be going fine in the beginning. That is, until he starts to deal with rude customers. They get upset about him getting the pizza wrong. How long it took to deliver or bringing cold food, even though none of it was Derek's fault. Derek finally understands how difficult it is to have a job. Karma's a B word. What goes around comes around. But when it comes around, you're going to feel it 10 times harder than what you gave. Trust and believe that. And that's what anything in life, bro. Not just with this. Anybody out there that's watching this video, I need you guys to be very careful about how you treat people. Very careful. Because it's easy to disrespect somebody. It's easy to come out your character and call somebody names or whatever, right? But let's be honest, if the roles were reversed and somebody did that to you, you wouldn't like it. Your, your heart would drop down to your stomach. Just treat everybody, you know, the way that you would want to be treated, man. Because, you know, like I say, it's easy to sit up here and come out your character and disrespect somebody or, you know, be rude to somebody. But... When it's you, it's going to be a whole different feeling. And I mean a whole different feeling. Very young. You wouldn't be able to sleep at night. How is work? I'm speaking from experience, bro. I've been there and done that. Which is why I matured and actually realized, hey, I can't be like that, bro. You hungry? I'll fix you some supper. That's all right. I ordered this food. It's not this person's fault that this happened. You know? I'm not I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I'm the perfect person and I knew this all along. It took me some experience, you know. There were certain times in my life where I've gotten mad at people that really didn't have anything to do with the situation. But I would be mad at them just because, you know you know, and that's another thing, bro. Us as human beings we tend to be mad at someone or something. And then the moment somebody who has nothing to do with the situation comes, you know, in our zone or in our area and try to converse, we end up taking our anger or frustration out on them. And then sometimes it won't even be obvious to where, like, we're talking aggressively or anything like that. It's just, you know, we're kind of snark, we're kind of snarky, we're kind of, you know, smart mouthing you a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, if you guys know, you know, man. 
But yeah, and a lot of times you guys just gotta, you know, <laughs> realize who the enemy is, man. Like it has nothing to do with this person right here. It's this person, you know. But even more important than that, just treat everybody the way that you want to be treated. That's it. And I think that's the last okay, time great. me pausing these videos. Uh, how much do I owe you? Don't worry about it. This one's on me. Wow. Or this video. Hey, I got your uh, large pepperoni pizza. And don't worry, I double checked it this time, so. It says pineapple on it. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's a 20. Keep the change. <laughs> really? I know how hard your job is. I felt really bad about the last time. Sorry about that. Thanks. Really means a lot. Have a great one. I don't even know who this new Derek is anymore. Thanks, Mom. Well, let's see. Oh, and I was thinking... Don't tell me you don't want the Beamer anymore. No, nah, you're going way too far. I was just thinking maybe black instead. Oh. Yeah. I think black would be nice. <laughs> Did you cry? Tell me in the comments. Nope. For a second, I forgot that this was a challenge. I was so busy rambling and talking about my personal life experiences that I forgot that this was, you know, a challenge of trying not to cry. But like I say, I, I didn't cry. I don't normally cry. It's not easy for me to cry. It's more easier for me to laugh or sometimes get upset. But cry? Nah. But if you guys like this video, man, give it a fat thumbs up, like, comment, share. My Cavilla Gang, we up out of here. You guys have a blessed one, a safe one, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.